Hello, welcome to another video in this Airbnb Cloud Ruby on Rails series. This is part 73 and in last video we made some database related changes for reviews related thing. So I'll again jump back to our adding reviews related page. So there are a couple of things that I thought are not good. So first thing is actually in this video I'll focus on only one thing which is this particular review was added by us in in last video i did demonstrate that but i still i can still visit that page uh, basically i can still go to add review uh, and i can add a review here so let's try to add it second review let's add 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 and maybe three four three four because i think in last one yeah it was five so yeah submit review and it was added successfully let's go to console rails c by the way you might have noticed that a lot of times i'm doing rails console to check things right so as a viewer if you're if you uh, like you're viewing these videos so what can happen is that you might avoid typing these rails command uh, rail com commands in rails console just that okay i'm just verifying it uh, there is nothing major happening in this console so you might skip doing that but i would highly encourage you to still perform these tasks because you should get the habit of writing things in rails console because it's exactly similar to what we have to do in uh, in our code also so it it makes things better basically your entire habit will become better in this so let's do this um, what was i supposed to check review dot all there should be two reviews yes and and okay so in first review user id is one property id is one in second review also user id is one property id is one and the if you if you would have noticed the reservation was same this this is the reservation right so the reservation is also same so this should not be allowed okay if for for each and every review reservation id property id and user id the combination of these three should be unique okay i'll give you an example for example for this particular weekend i plan to visit uh, taj palace hotel or something like that uh maybe yeah i can afford it not sure so let's let's see if i if i book that particular hotel for this weekend okay now once i have stayed there finished my uh stay and uh, after that the property will remain same user id will be mine user will remain same okay and the reservation was for this weekend right so i can add a review for that now, if I visit that property again after one year or some XYZ time period, uh, then again, it is a second type of reservation. User ID will remain same, property ID will remain same. So for that reservation also, I can add a review, right? So that means just keeping user ID and property ID unique won't work. We will have to add a reservation ID in this table and then we will have to make it unique. So the combination of property ID, reservation ID and user ID should be unique. For each and every review okay i hope this makes sense i'll stop this clear and let me fix this again okay so again now this is the only task that i'll be doing in this which is add reservation id to reviews table <coughs> and make sure reservation id property id and user id is a unique combination so if you are confident you can do this on your own okay and in the end you can cross verify this rails generate migration add reservation id to reviews reservation references refer -E r-e-f-e-r-e-n-c-e-s enter let's see let's go to code we don't need this file now uh, database migrate 
add reference reviews reservation null false and for id false okay so before we can do that what we will have to do is we will have to get rid of the two reviews that we have so rails console review dot all dot destroy destroy all okay destroy all does work so review enter rail c now let's check review dot count and we have zero reviews so clear this sorry exit this clear this let's go here now we can make this migration so rails db migrate enter and the migration was successful rails not rails bin i think there is one mistake let's see this first and then we'll see that mistake also we have added reservation id but we will have to make the combination of this unique wish list wish list in create wish list we had added this right rails generate migration add index to reviews you you can do both of these changes in one go if you want uh, I missed that out and that's why I'm doing it now add index to reviews user ID property ID and reservation ID so the combination of these three should be unique true let's cross verify this in reviews property ID reservation ID we do have reservation ID already Okay, sorry, no, I got confused. Property ID, reservation ID, and user ID, great. So let's do this migration also, Rails, DB, migrate. Clear. Finally, start the server, build slash dev. And now, let's take a look at both the migrations. So in first migration, what all tables we have affected? We have affected reviews and reservations. So we'll open their model. This, this is the same thing that I have repeated a lot of times that whenever you are doing a migration, think about what all models will get affected at it and go to their code. Okay, even if we don't have to make any change, we should always visit that. At least that's what I would do. User ID, property ID and reservation ID. Uh, user property and reservation we already have let's close this also now let's have a look at review so a re reservation a review will belong to a reservation also because it does need a reservation id right reservation id so that's one reservation will have has one review but that is not compulsory actually it, that's fine that's fine but i think we don't need it so i won't add it right now later on we will see okay and in user do we need to fetch reviews directly we already have that in properties we already have that so let's not worry about that in reservation that's fine so now we will have to take this reservation ID into account also when whenever we are adding a review right so if we go to our controllers reviews review params doesn't have a this user ID 
we missed i think i, I missed removing this user id in earlier videos okay this user id is no longer needed basically okay so we have gotten rid of that current user reviews new this we need a reservation id also so let's add that reservation id let me break this uh, comma reservation id sorry <coughs> really sorry for that i hope the ai reduces the sound <laughs> reservation id uh what was it we can get it from param but i think i'll use it this only dot id and let me break it into multiple lines and use this data params here and anything else i think for now that's it now let's go to the review we don't have any reviews all of these are new let's go to reservation account reservation add review content first review Where is the issue? Rails couldn't find a valid model for reservation ID association. Okay. Reviews don't have a reservation ID or what's happening? Let's go to a schema. Reviews do have reservation ID. R E S E R V A T I O N reservation dot id so let's go to their model also belongs to reservation id maybe we can use this directly but that should be same and that's not an issue rails couldn't find a valid model for reservation id association Please provide the class name option that is if the class name already provided. I'm just trying to debug this quickly. Uh, reviews more reservation, reservation ID, reservation ID. Unable to find the valid model. Res okay, sorry. Here they use a model and I was using it as a reservation ID, but that's not a model. The model name is reservation. So that's why it belongs to a reservation. And now it should work. First review from project. And it was added successfully. Now we can go to this page again. Let's try this second. And error. 
great so it has failed that's great uh, I want to add checks for it right away just because we won't even show this button uh, let me see yeah I'll do this in this video itself but the main problem that we had got solved right so let's go to our view which is reservations and payments right so reservations and payments go to that we do have a lot of reservations here in that what I want to do is this button add review should only be visible if there is no review for this particular reservation so let's try to do that if reservation will this work we will have to go to reservation model in this now I think we need test has one a review let's see I'm just thinking has one or has many because if five people are there for example I have booked a trip obviously the booking will be made by one person but it can be shared with five different people at least on Airbnb I am not sure if it is a booking is same or not so if it is shared by with five people the user IDs are different so the combination of reservation ID property ID which will remain same but the user ID will keep on changing so does this mean that they can add five different reviews for this property I think they should not I won't go in depth of it I think they should not okay so has one review and the reason for that is that for example I have booked a property for nominal charges and now for example this the property that I booked is of my friend only now the Airbnb system works like that that I cannot add a review until unless I have booked that property so I booked that property now I add five of my friends or 15 of my friends to take that to go to that property and I create their user ID on Airbnb and add them to that particular booking that I have done. Now if at the end of that one booking 16 people are able to add reviews that property will automatically shine to top because it's from my friend I will rate it five star from all of my friends so there is a potential chance of an scam that's the only reason. Uh, I don't want to go in depth of it it is product and uh, yeah mostly product related decision but yeah I, I was just adding my thought process here so let's try this dot inspect undefined method inspect okay the, the, this review is present okay I will want this to be nil if it is not present then this okay so what we will do is we will go to another property actually we don't need to go to another property we can just add this present only and if it is present we will show a different UI that's it and if it is not present if the reservation is not present then we will show this button and if it is present then we will show the rating this is the UI right so let's do that uh,
for now i'll just keep it simple you can if you want you can make it a bit more complex and those kind of things like showing the reviews details and all those things i'll just show the rating that they have given nothing more than that so we don't need this else case we don't need this also what we will need is reservation dot review dot final rating final rating dot round to two this is what we need okay i haven't done anything special here i'm just checking if the review is present if it is present we will show the star followed by the rating and if it is not present we will show the add review button that's it refresh okay let's write it rated or your rating Okay, you are rating five star. That's it. Now we'll make another reservation. So let's go to another booking. Go to this booking. Um, make a reservation for twenty five to twenty nine. Reserve. Confirm. Four to 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 four to. Let's go to accounts, reservations, and we can see it's working. Add review. By the way, I'm keeping this add review as, as uh, if you might have seen that I'm keeping this add review as something which grabs attention, and the reason for that is very simple. It's it's not the perfect UI, but at least I'm making some UX decision also, user experience decision also, and I think if I'm teaching Airbnb or anything, I would try to share maximum information. So the reason behind making this bright is that all the details in this property the user has already seen those things they have made the decision so for example if you are showing this property details they have already seen this that's why they have done this booking the dates have been selected by them the pricing the payment has been done by them so all these information are not new to them so what i want is i want to bring the attention of them on ad review so that they take this action which is important for the properties and which is overall important for the platform also because if if there would be too many ratings on too many properties user will tend to make bookings from airbnb right uh, so that's one of the decisions that i had in mind we'll change the ordering also i'll just write the to do and we'll do that later it's we'll have to do this across all the Let me go here. Reservations, yeah. Great. Uh, actually, same for other APIs. Great. So that's it for this video. Uh, I have some sort of help from. Uh, I I do need some help from you guys. So if you are if you like these videos, do comment. Uh, do like this video, and if you can share it across other networks like social media networks, like uh, uh, maybe your college group, maybe your university group, or your company group, or maybe LinkedIn, uh, Instagram. I don't know anything else. <laughs> So if if you can do that, basically the cross promotional thing, it would help. Okay. So yeah, that's it. And if you if you do that, uh, please consider adding me to those. I already have shared all my details. I think. 
yeah so if you do share it do consider adding me or tagging me though to those posts i think i have mentioned it if i go to any one of these videos for example this one yeah my instagram you can visit my website that contains all the things otherwise linkedin and instagram have been mentioned topmate have been mentioned and on netlify app this this website that i have created uh, it does contain all the social links at the bottom not all but all the important ones that i think github youtube instagram and linkedin okay so yeah that's it for now thank you bye bye